Hello and welcome to HoustonHeartburn.com. I am Dr. Elias Darido and I'm going to talk to you about heartburn, GERD, and acid reflux disease. The terms heartburn, GERD, and acid reflux are often used interchangeably. However, they actually have different meanings. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, also known as GERD, G-E-R-D, is a chronic medical condition that occurs when gastric content refluxes back into the esophagus, also known as the food pipe. Heartburn is the most common symptom of GERD and is felt as a burning pain behind the breastbone. Here we have a drawing of the stomach, this pouch down here, and the esophagus, this area right here. Separating the stomach from the esophagus is a dome-shaped breathing muscle called the diaphragm, which is located here. The esophagus passes through a small hole in the diaphragm called the hiatus before it connects to the stomach. You may have also heard the term hiatal hernia. A hiatal hernia occurs when weakened muscle tissue allows your stomach to bulge up through your diaphragm. Remember, normally your esophagus passes into your stomach through an opening in the diaphragm called the hiatus. Hiatal hernias occur when the muscle tissue surrounding this opening becomes weak and the upper part of your stomach bulges up through the diaphragm into your chest cavity. Our stomachs are filled with acid in order to help digest food. Normally, the acid should only stay down in the stomach. However, if the acid escapes up into the esophagus, then problems start to occur. This is called acid reflux disease, also known as GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease. But acid is not the only thing that can escape from the stomach. Air can travel up from the stomach through the esophagus, and it often results in burping and belching. Most patients who suffer from acid reflux disease say that they suffer from excessive burping and belching, which at times can be embarrassing, unpleasant, as well as uncomfortable. A valve located here serves as a barrier between the stomach and the esophagus. Esophageal muscle fibers reinforced by external compression from the diaphragm create an effective antacid barrier. This should only serve as a one-way opening for food and water to enter into the stomach. If this mechanism is disrupted, it can result in stomach contents escaping up into the esophagus. Gas, acid, and even food can escape up through this weakened valve. Some patients experience food escaping into the esophagus, causing food regurgitation after a meal, when bending over, or most commonly at night. This is often why patients with acid reflux disease wake up in the middle of the night, choking, coughing, and gasping for air. Many patients report a sour taste at the back of their mouth, as well as sore throat. Stomach acid that escapes into the bottom part of the esophagus causes patients to experience heartburn and chest pain. If the acid continues to escape up into the throat, then they may experience chronic dry coughing. This is commonly mistaken as an effect of allergies or an infection. Doctors often mistakenly try to fix this problem using steroids or antibiotics. If the acid escapes into the lungs, then this may cause asthma and shortness of breath. If the acid escapes into the vocal cords, then your voice may become hoarse. Acid reflux disease can also cause a constant feeling that something is stuck in the throat. Patients that experience this problem are constantly trying to clear their throat. This is because the lining of the throat is being exposed to gastric acid and digestive enzymes, which leaves the throat dry and irritated. Medications that help acid reflux disease are designed to only mask the problem. The acid is neutralized in the stomach after taking medication, but those stomach contents that aren't acidic anymore are still escaping up through the loose valve and into the esophagus. So how will we help you? First, we need to accurately diagnose the problem. 
We painlessly insert a small camera down through the esophagus to inspect the stomach, esophagus lining, and most importantly, the valve above the stomach. Tissue samples, also called biopsies, are also examined for inflammation or changes in the lining of the esophagus that we call Barrett's. Barrett's esophagus, when caught early, can prevent cancer development in the future. At the same time, we insert a small chip here, just above the valve. This electronic chip, covered with silicon, is attached by suction to the esophagus and is about the size of a jelly bean. That jelly bean sized chip can measure the amount of acid that is escaping from your stomach and will wirelessly relay information to a small monitor that you carry. This small monitor also allows you to report when you are experiencing cough, heartburn, and other side effects. After two to four days, you return the monitor to us so we can accurately analyze your personal information. This data will allow us to know how often you have reflux and what symptoms you are experiencing. The chip will fall off by itself and causes no pain or discomfort. We will then be able to understand your symptoms, which in return will allow us to diagnose the problem and select the right treatment for you. The preceding presentation has been provided by Dr. Elias Dorito, Reflux Specialist at Houston Heartburn and Reflux Center, HoustonHeartburn.com.